example, the perks I use for longsword are I run counterattack for move speed and action speed after parry, shield mastery for fast repost after parry, and barricade. That way, if I get hit while parrying, which is almost always happening, I just have a little bit more armor. The skeletal um, shieldmen, or whatever they're called, are the easiest skeletons. They're very slow, they just walk towards you, and they have the exact same attack pattern every time. You just bait their attack, like this, and then they present their head to you for headshot. In this game, you always want to aim for the head. It does 50% more damage, and attacks to the arms and legs do 50% less damage. So a headshot does three times as much damage as a leg shot. Grab it. So goblins are different than skeletons. They're they're faster, and their weapons actually have poison on them. You get hit by their poison weapon. You can see it right there. It's like got this aura around it. Um, you will take damage over time. Goblins are extremely deadly, even though, you know, they're much shorter than skeletons and they don't really look that intimidating. But if they hit you, it hurts. Trust me. These guys, you can just space their attacks. There's nothing too crazy about them. Just space their attack, back up. Space their attack, back up. Get some hits in. It's as easy as that. You have to interpose your weapon between the attack and your body. So we'll try it over here on this goblin. It's kind of tough because their attacks are weird. You see that? You get a little tink. See what I did there? If you block an attack, let go of block and press block again, you will do a repost attack. That's a two-part attack that does massive damage. It does 187% increased damage. You crouch and aim at this dude's, put your sword over this dude's knee, you can parry his bola. How about that? Put the tip of your sword over his knee. Just like this. When you fight a skeleton, the first attack is always at your head. When they shoot at you, the first shot goes to your head, the second shot goes to your abdomen. So, block towards your head, and block towards your abdomen. Block towards your head. Head. Abdomen. You can also just sidestep the arrows. It's usually easier to sidestep. I know it seems early, but just crouch and look down. It cannot hit you at all. You can also look up if you really like. You're right in front of them. You can pop them down, pop them down, pop them down. Literally that easy. Because I'm a little busy fighting them. Swap back to the sword now that it's a one-on-one, -on -one, though. The spear skeletons are actually some of the harder skeletons, but their stab, you can always sidestep it. They have a uh, another swing that's like a horizontal swing that you can duck it. You can sidestep that one as well. I was trying to get him to do the horizontal swing. Uh, he did the overhead. Well, anyways. Actually not that great at fighting uh, spear skeletons. I'm still learning. All you have to do against Skeletal Champion is crouch, look up, and rotate left. Watch. And you might catch the pair, you might not, but if you're stuck in a really small area, that's literally all you have to do, and you just kill them. I'm gonna try my new, my new thing. Okay, so Axemen, they do the thing, right? And then I do the thing. But let me see if I can do this thing. You know what I mean? This seemed pretty easy, right? Until it, until you get hit for your entire health bar. But I mean, honestly, like, I don't even know what to say in that regard. You like that? This also works with Wraith. Check it out. Just rotate left. Rotate left, look straight up. And you... There we go. Yep. I'll show you a surefire way to handle wraiths. It works every time. You circle around a pillar. 
The Wraith will do his two attacks. He's got two attacks. Got an attack where he lunges forward very far. And he's got a swipe attack from, from his right to his left. You circle around the pillar like this. He can't lunge attack at you. He just goes to the side of the pillar. So basically you can punish him. Just circle and attack. Circle and attack. Hello! Guy's helping us. How nice of him. But this mini boss is literally as easy as that. Once you find a pillow or a pillar, he's kind of a joke. You can check if mimics or, or chests are mimics by just going, What's this? Ah! Yes, that's a mimic. But I'll open it, he's a Mimic. We're all very scared. For Mimics, you basically just... You can just backstep their attacks. Bait them out like skeletons. Easy peasy. You can block them too if you really want to. Huh. I would just... I would just face them, honestly. It's less dangerous. When they get low on health, sometimes they'll close up. And pretend like they're chests again. So like I said, the centipede has two attacks. He's got this attack where he lunges forward and hits you. And he's got the spit attack, which you can sidestep. I love fighting him with the longsword because you can parry it if you're good enough. But just for sanity's sake, let's go ahead and uh, use the normal weapon against it. So we can kind of see how it goes. You can sidestep that too, just attack. Sometimes when you hit him, he gets scared and poops out all this green stuff. You step in it, you get poisoned, it hurts really bad. He runs away, and then he comes back. You just continue wailing on him. He's not too hard of a mini boss, honestly. You just you just dodge his two attacks, and that's about it. And he always drops jewelry. We love jewelry. Very cool. These guys are actually really easy once you figure it out. See how he does that? You just block it. I know that sounds stupid. Hold on. Let me back up so I can show you. You put your sword right around where his feet are going to end up. Right here. Every time. You get it every single time. Just space him. Space him. Catch the uh, catch the feet right around here. Get with the tip of your sword. And hit him with one repost. I'm going to show you guys how to fight berserkers. In case you haven't seen my short yet. Check it out. Crouch. Right at their feet. And then just... Like, you can move left and right, or you can just stand completely still and uh, bend your body so your head moves out of the way. And back up a little bit. There we go. I actually should have got hit by his last attack. I got lucky with that parry. There we go. Down. By the way, this is how you fight centaurs. You ready? Sidestep, then you duck the next attack. That's it. They only have two attacks. As long as you're in melee range with them. You just sidestep to the left, or you duck. Those are the only two things you have to do. He does the overhead, you sidestep, he does the, the horizontal slash, you just, you just duck it. You can look up, you can look down, do whatever you want. I look up because I can parry it. You basically put your uh, longsword right above their bow. Like, see how their bow lines up? You put your longsword right above where it lines up. I guess you could call it, like, their right shoulder. You just, like, hold it there. Easy peasy. It works, like, m for most distances. You just, like, adjust it so you're kind of looking right above the bow. Uh, this is subject to, like, change based on your race, but as a lizard man, this is, like, a good spot to carry it. They only ever shoot that direction. They don't double shot like uh, skeletons and stuff. Back from this dude is basically his combo attack. When he does the combo attack, he does like a horizontal swing this way. It's like a horizontal swing this way. As long as you sidestep him to the left, he won't hit you with it. And then um, after that horizontal swing, he will combo into either a, a horizontal sweep like that, or he'll combo into a, a vertical like slam. So when he does that, all you gotta do is go left. Go left. You just like duck and go left. You can look down if you're not using. See, watch horizontal, like diagonal, and then it'll do like a horizontal sweep, like I just showed. 
I hope that makes sense. Um, you can basically, understanding the way he attacks means you can, like, avoid his attacks yourself. Um, you get hit sometimes, you know, so you can't, you can't avoid stuff every time. But, like, it's a good... Oh, well, he just stand on your head like this. Yeah, like I said, sometimes you, you can't move left and right, right? Like, that's where you are in the dungeon. So, like, you know, sometimes you're just there and you can't stray if you get hit. But you, you get the idea. Crouch and look straight up while parrying. If you get the uh, if you get the angle right, you can parry their shield and repose them when you turn around. You do it too, if you're too slow turning around, you get hit like that. Try to get the parry off, but it's kind of tough. You should be dying soon, right? Honestly, like that that method works on any class. All right, so these dudes have two different attacks. They have a stab, and they have the the horizontal like diagonal uh, slash. You got the stab here. To parry the stab, literally back up and just let the sword hit your blade. Um, you can go left or right. Go left, just parry. If you go right, parry left. Oh, that's the diagonal slash. Diagonal sl slash is actually super easy to uh, parry. I say as I get hit by it, it goes right through my sword. Just look right and parry it. Just look right, like tilt up like 45 degrees upwards and you parry it. Over his left shoulder. Now you can just, you can also duck it too if you like, like that. You can duck that attack. That stab has crazy tracking though. Like if you're anywhere near them, you get hit by it. Is what it is. I'm just gonna follow up over on. These are actually really annoying. They have like way higher HP than the other skeletons. They have three attacks. They have a short stab, a long stab, and then they have an uppercut. So this is a short stab. To parry it, you basically parry it exactly the same as the other skeleton. Is the uppercut? That one's actually the hardest to parry because it goes along your blade, so the angle of like parry is really difficult. Short stab's super easy. And they have a long stab, which is this. They walk forward and do like a big old swing, or stab. To parry that, you basically sidestep left. And I love getting hit by that. Um, to parry the um, a stab, you basically sidestep left and put your sword to the right, kind of like that. Can you parry ice falling from the ceiling? Yeah, you can. Kill this guy real quick, I want to heal up. Um, let's do it real quick. Thanks for following Mr. Hamshank. Go over the Wendigo again. People want me to stab his chest, but honestly, I think the repose, you can, you can get the repose, like squeeze it in there and get the heart. So like, you just get out of the way of this and reach around the side, stab him in the heart. And you literally just keep sidestepping it. When he does the swings, if he ever does, try to hit him in the arm. Just keep stabbing him in the heart. Okay, well, he just doesn't even want to do the swings, so easy peasy. Yeah, you just look up, get the parry, hit him in the heart. Look up, get the parry, double repose the heart. Easy peasy, just like that. I think it's pretty fast, in my opinion. As long as you get the right angle in the parry, like, you can kill when to go super fast. That'd be such a goofy way to kill somebody, too. If you parry the spider and then... Oh my god, you can. Why is he sitting down? Oh my god. He's parried his fireball. Bring stuff. Oh, you can! But you have to, like, parry where it hits the ground. You can't parry the icicle itself.